Hey everybody, Claire here, and look who I have. Hi! <laughs> That's right. I'm here with Ingrid, and we're celebrating... Gridsgiving. Gridsgiving. Claire was the one who thought of it, and now we're rolling with Gridsgiving. We're, it's definitely, we're like rolling hard. It's happening. So if you guys watched the video on Ingrid's channel, we did two of my favorite family Thanksgiving sides, which were really delicious. So yum, I'm taking them back to <laughs> I also discovered her secret, and now not so secret, obsession with cornbread. Yep, and just all carbs in general. I'm more on that train where it's like, <laughs> someone asked me what's your favorite vegetable, and I was like, a potato, obviously. Like, what yep. kind of question is that? Yeah, because it's a carb, that is mine too. So these are technically hand pies, but I think of them more as like turnovers. And so I love this idea because you can make them ahead of time and just reheat them and then make one for everybody so each person has their own like mini dessert. Yum, I'm into that. And the flavor we're doing today is apple, but with a little bit more going on. So I see some sage. Exactly. <laughs> we're doing um, roasted apples, or we're gonna saute these with like brown butter, a little bit of flour, brown sugar, and then we're adding sage and cream cheese just to like, I don't know. Why not go over the top? Yeah, why not? It's it's grids giving. It's grids giving. <laughs> if there ever was a season or a holiday where you go over the top, it's grids giving. It really is. Yes. I'm excited about this. All right, cool. So I'm gonna give you the job of coating the apples with brown sugar. So okay. I have four apples here. I use Granny Smith, Pink Ladies work great too. And then I have a cup of brown sugar packed, and then I'm gonna get the brown butter going. So brown butter is really easy to make. You just put some butter in a pan, and then wait for the milk solids in it to brown. So once I have this melted, I'm gonna add the sage, and the sage is gonna make this place smell ridiculous. So. We're gonna wait till it starts getting lightly golden brown. So you can see it's starting to turn a little bit. And the reason why we want it to be lightly golden brown is that when butter gets browned, it browns real quick, mm -hmm. like real quick. So it'll all of a sudden become like a very serious situation. I know, so, I feel like I'm like waiting around and then all of a sudden yeah. it's there. And then you're like, oh God, I ruined it. All right, so I'm now gonna add the sugar coated apples. apples. Oh my God, it smells so good. Good stuff. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of flour. And the flour forms a roux. So this is going to work with the butter to make this really nice kind of thick sauce. So now I'm adding um, two ounces of cream cheese to it. And this is just gonna start to melt down. And the cream cheese adds, I mean, it's cream cheese, so it just makes everything better. Makes it delicious. I kind of can't fathom a recipe that cream cheese doesn't somehow improve. Yeah. <laughs> you know? This That's makes true. everything delicious. Like you could put it in like a pasta sauce and the pasta I sauce know. would become better. It'd be so good. All right, this is actually almost done. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna remove the sage just so we don't have like a giant chunk of sage. Surprise, I know. you've got sage. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a big pinch of salt because salt with sugar is always a good combination. It really is. So we're going to let this cool a little bit and then we're gonna make our turnovers. All right, so we have our puff pastry out. Um, I didn't even roll it or anything. We just cut the puff pastry into squares. Got it. This is egg wash, which okay. is just a beaten egg with a little bit of cream added to it. You can also just add water to it. We have some raw sugar, and then we have our delicious apple mixture, which is really good. Yum! Yum! This is my favorite part <laughs> next to eating. It's Playing with good. the dough. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's how I do it. I take a nice big scoop of the apples with some of the sauce, and you don't want to overstuff it. If you do too much sauce, you'll end up getting like a swimming pool. So you just fold it over and this is where it becomes like a turnover because you're turning, turning it, it over. over. So then I take my fork and I just press it. This is the laziest version of it. Like you could do like cute crimping on the sides. You can roll it over and make it more of a pasty kind of situation. Like that's what my mom would do. But I just, you know, this is like if you don't want to get too fussy with it. You're sealing the deal. Exactly, you're sealing <laughs> it in. And then you take your egg wash, brush, brush, brush. And then we just put a little sprinkle of sugar. And so once it's all done, I just take my fork and I pop some holes in the top. This is to release the steam. So it doesn't bubble up. And exactly, explode. and then, yeah, like shoot <laughs> things out in your oven. <laughs> And that's it. Um, cool. So do you want to make some? I do. All right. This is the kind of um, crimping that I can get down with. It's what are your thoughts on hair crimping? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when Britney Spears came out with the Stronger music video. Oh my god, with the and chair. 
the chair dance. Yeah, and the I chair thought it was amazing too. that she had her hair. Some pieces crimped, some were curled, some were straight. It was like all the irons came out. I know. And I thought it was the best. I did too. And I fried my hair with my little purple Conair crimper. Totally. <laughs> well, it's like I wonder what we're doing now that everyone's gonna be. I know. That's by. what I'm thinking. I. Yeah have that thought randomly I'm like mm -hmm. what are what are the trends now that we're gonna look back on like shoulder pads i think it was, <laughs> i think it's like everyone wearing a hat for no reason yeah so we're gonna pop these in the oven at 400 degrees and they're gonna bake for about like 25 minutes maybe 35 if you want to get them really crispy on the outside all right cool so into the oven it goes and then we get to eat them yes out of the oven yum it's oh my looking gosh. good and I'm pretty sure the plates are probably a little too small because these are like epic size. <laughs> That's yours. I love it. So it needs a scoop of ice cream on top. It does. This is a rule that <laughs> I am I'm on board with. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, it's be so I fun. can't wait. Yum. Ice cream, always a good call. Mm. Like cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Ice cream improves most things. This is so good! <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. So please make sure to check out the video we did on Ingrid's channel. Mm -hmm. All of our information is below. Please say hello to her. If you try this, please use the hashtag Gridsgiving. Mm -hmm. We weren't joking. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. It's serious. It's We're serious. Serious business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But otherwise, thank you so much, guys, and happy holidays. I hope you enjoy eating delicious dinners with your family and friends. Bye, guys.